welcome to Palmer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with the free petrochemicals news show. It is Wednesday, April 22nd. I am Tejun Hode. Our special news for today is sponsored by Ahmedabad based Swede Industries. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude oil prices continued to plunge on Tuesday following a historic dive on Monday that left the WTI US benchmark to settle at minus $37. The crash in oil prices is led by the decline in demand for fuel amid the pandemic, together with global crude oil storage facilities reaching the brim of their storage limits. Brent futures plunged by $6.24 or 24.40%, settling at $19.33 per barrel. WTI futures for June contract slipped steeply 43% to $11.57. The thinly traded May contract, which expired on Tuesday, settled at $10.01 per barrel. According to Vandana Hari of Anja Insights, Brent was continuing down a slippery slope early Wednesday in Asia after plunging by 24% to a fresh 18-year low at Tuesday's settle. However, the new franc month June WTI futures contract was tagging a rebound. Open spec NAFTA prices slipped sharply by 16 US dollars per metric ton to the 186 US dollars per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. Bearish upstream crude and NAFTA values pulled ethylene and propylene prices lower in Asia on Tuesday. Weaker regional demand trends and sufficient product availability further supported the price fall. Moving on to the Asian market update for PP, PE, and PVC. In PP, this week, PP prices drifted lower in the Far East and Southeast Asian regions. Prices slipped mainly on account of bearish upstream energy and propylene values, weaker regional buying sentiments, coupled with a steep fall in PP futures on the Italian Commodity Exchange in China. In HDP, HDP prices down adjusted in Asia this week. The price fall was attributed to a steep fall in upstream crude, naphtha and ethylene values, coupled with dull demand trends in the region. In PVC, PVC prices plunged in Asia this week on the back of a steep fall in import offers from the overseas producers and persistent bearish demand trends across the Asian regions. Weaker upstream costs further supported the price fall. For detailed price assessments of PP, PE and PVC, we invite you to subscribe to Palmer Update. Our weekly benchmark price assessment and analysis are available on our website for all our subscribers to benefit from. Our special news of today is sponsored by Ahmedabad based Sweet Industries. Established in the year 2005, a reputed manufacturer and supplier of thermoplastic injection molding machines. That's all for today's Palmer News. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. This Wednesday, April 22nd, I am Tejan Hore. Thank you. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Palmer Update and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at Palmer Update. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.